This video tutorial will help you perform an FEA analysis using ANSYS AIM. Click on the Structural Process template. Now with the CAD active, select the Connect to Active CAD session. And create the simulation process. The template will create the steps necessary to perform the FEA analysis. Select the active CAD session and import. Now let's configure the mesh. The slider can be used to adjust the resolution, make it a little bit finer and generate the mesh. Now let's proceed to the physics section. Check the physics regions has structural ticked. Check the material assignment is steel and the physics options outline what method the elements will be using. Leave them as program controlled. The structural conditions are where the boundary conditions and the loads will be applied. Add a support condition to the base of the mast and apply 50,000 in the negative y direction to the edge of the jib. Interface conditions outline how bodies and faces will interact. The template identifies contact regions and automatically generates them. Update the interface and check the contacts. AIM will automatically generate a bonded behavior between the faces. As our jib will be welded together, this is an appropriate behavior. Different contact types can be added by changing the behavior or deleting a contact and manually applying it. Leave the physics solutions as default and solve the physics. With the physics updated, let's check the results. You can see straight away that there are two contours that are automatically created. Let's evaluate the equivalent stress. Now this evaluates the stress on the whole body. However, we're after the stress through the jib. So let's go back. Let's add an equivalent stress contour. Select the body and evaluate. This gives us a better picture. We can change the appearance and we can see where the different bands are. Now let's parameterize the maximum stress. Let's go back to the results and evaluate the magnitude. The maximum displacement is where the load is applied, which is expected. Let's make the maximum displacement a parameter. We also want to determine the mass of the structure. So let's add a calculated value under functions, give it mass and evaluate. Now make this a parameter. This video has taught you how to perform an FEA analysis using AIM. The next video will focus on optimization.